This data sufficiency question comes with some free info that's really important for us to pick up. We're told that the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 10. That implies that the sum of the squares of the two legs of this triangle is 100. What I use there is a Pythagorean theorem which says that one side squared plus the other side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. And of course the hypotenuse squared in this case is 100. 10 squared equals 100. And so I can say that the sum of the squares of the sides is also 100. That's the free info. Now the question wants to know the perimeter, and for the perimeter I'd need to know the hypotenuse, which I do know is 10, but I also need to know the sum of the two sides. All right, so let's look at the statements. Statement one gives us the product of those two sides. It tells us that the product of the two unknowns is 50. And the reason I say that is because the area of a right triangle is half the product of the two sides. And in this case, we're told that that's 25. So if half the product is 25, the product is 50. If you know the product and you also know the sum of the two squares, can you find the sum? And the answer is yes, we have a special product for that. It says that the square of a sum is equal to the sum of the squares plus double the product. In this case, we know the sum of the squares is 100 and the product is 50, double the product is another 100. So now I can say that the square of the sum is 200, which means the sum itself is the square root of 200. Yes, this is sufficient. I can answer the question. I can find out the sum of the two sides. Now statement two tells us that the two sides are equal. And I think that's even easier to evaluate because we know they're equal. We know the sum of their squares is 100. So that means that each of the squares on its own is 50 because they're equal. So each of the underlying values is the square root of 50. So in this case, I can find the actual values of the two numbers there, root 50 and root 50. And if I wanted the perimeter, I would just say it's 10 plus 2 times root 50. Each of these statements is sufficient on its own, and we should go ahead and pick answer choice D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.